Right now, however, uh, the market seems to me to be fully valued. And uh, the dividend yield is less than less than 2%, probably 1.8% now on the Standard & Poor's 500. The long-term norm is more like 5% or very close to 5%. Uh, the earnings growth that we're facing in the years ahead uh, is going to be, if you believe that the corporate profits are ultimately tied to gross domestic product, GDP of the U.S., um, the, the earnings growth might be as low as 4 or 5%, maybe 6% lower than traditionally and, and historically. And finally, the valuations of stocks are, by my standards, rather high. My standards, however, are high. And that is, what we use here is the past 12 months of reported, of reported earnings by corporations. Those are gap earnings, generally accepted accounting principles, with all the bad stuff included. And um, we make that about 25 or 26 times earnings the multiple, which is relatively high. Wall Street will have none of that. They look ahead to, to the earnings for the next 12 months. We don't really know what they are, so it's a little, a little gamble. And second, they look at operating earnings, earnings without all that bad stuff. And they come up with a price earnings multiple of about 17, probably, or 18, something in that range. So if you believe the street, um, <laughs> I suppose you all have to, um, the PE is a little, about normal, and if you believe uh, the way we look at it much more realistically, I think, uh, the PE is relatively high. It can stay high for a long time. I mean, you have to send out the, the fire alarm uh, about today's PE, and if we get some earnings growth, uh, it will gradually come down as earnings, as earnings grow, even at a slow rate. So uh, I think it's any investor today should be realizing, I believe strongly, that they should be realizing that valuations are fairly full, and if they're if they're nervous, uh, they could easily sell off a portion of their stocks. I would not sell much. Uh, bring your balance back to where it was before the market began, and the stocks increased perhaps. Um, but the one thing I would strongly urge is don't ever, 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 if you're an investor, think of being out of the market or in the market. It's a very different piece of cake. Than, the, than, than making uh, moderate adjustments in your asset allocation, which is the way it ought to be done.